step what we're gonna do is uh, we take the first layer that your compost you will create has direct contact with the microorganism in the soil. So after I took the grass, um, I built this box, big compost box with holes for better air circulation. And first layer I put a chap brush and this material allows better air circulation um, around the heap, uh, around the base of the heap. So I'm gonna put about three to four inches of brush. Okay. So second layer, I'm uh, gonna use uh, six to eight inches of. Um, of uh, scraps, and uh, I uh, usually use uh, peel vegetable and fruit peels, what I use in the kitchen, and then I mix with leaves and grass clippings. Okay, so leaves, scraps, and grass clippings comes about six to eight inches. I'm going to add some to the compost I already did, some scraps. is one inch of soil. Soil. So the fourth layer, I'm gonna add some horse manure. And we're gonna add about two to three inches Horse manure. Even. And on the top, we're going to sprinkle some lime and wood ashes to reduce the acidity. I bought some lime, organic lime. I'm gonna sprinkle on the top. A few wood ashes. Sprinkle with the water, and after after this, after this we're gonna repeat all four steps. So at the on the end, when your compass is full, um, I dig just a little hole inside to collect the rainwater. Uh, your compost should be always a little wet, uh, never too dry or too wet. Um, and uh, I'm just gonna cover a little bit with grass. And in about six months, the compost is ready to use, and the fun begins with planting your vegetables. See you later. Sky is clear, the winds of